during my university there was we didn't have photography as a minor or major i just had a couple of photography courses where i i i wanted I, i'm interested in photography so i went to those courses and i got benefit of the cameras available in those courses to to go out and shoot pictures and i totally knew that i want to be a photographer this is what i want to be I started shooting for Associated Press, covering the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Um, and shortly after, I moved into international assignments. It was the Iraq war, where I went there and I spent several months. It was quite a uh, huge experience. Being born in, in a region where there is a conflict, actually, it's an advantage and disadvantage. Disadvantage for a lot of people, but it has some advantages for people who wants to become photographers, journalists, writers, that they are in the middle of the, of the story. They're born with the story. I found myself a news photographer, not just a photographer. The more deeper you go in, you, you get more attached to the story, you get more attached to the conflict. The conflict becomes part of your life. You meet a lot of things, you meet a lot of people, you face a lot of incidents, you pass through a lot of things where for some people would be like shocking and uh, you adopt actually. So I try my best to, to walk the streets, meet people and try to, to look for moments happening through those shattered societies or countries, happy moments. And I, I, I found out the last two years that the photography, the daily life photography in such conflicted zones, it really creates a change to the way the people in other parts of the world look at those countries. A smile, a smile in the middle of the rubble. This is what I, what I could describe it. And this is what I would like to keep on as a project. When the news came in that I'm selected, I became so nervous. Um, and when the theme of the, of, of, of the years, a uh, Jube Swart Masterclass came in, it's trust. I felt like I'm so cornered. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm based in a country. A trust is not so obvious. It's not available. A shattered country. A country hit a lot by violence, by uh, attacks. I've been touched by how people adapt to tragedies. And I always, always heard the word Alhamdulillah, which is, which means praise to God. And it's, it, it, it usually comes from believers, people who believe that every tragedy happens for a reason. It's a test from God. And the same word could be said in happy moments how people find their, themselves in a situation where they adopt to what happened to them. So I said, I found my path. This is what I'm gonna do. So I had to investigate more. I had to, to contact people all over the country and to hear their stories and see how did they adapt with what happened to them. So trust is having faith, having faith in, in, in God that what happened to me today happened to me for a reason is to make me stronger. And I had to carry the stories of those survivors, which was so important to me. As, and I was so curious myself to hear what was the last seconds before you were in that situation where you almost lost your life, where you survived. This was the challenging part where carry their stories, their words, their picture, and put it all in one body and show it to the world. I believe a picture could create a change. A picture is a very powerful thing. I bring issues that the, the world forgot about and I put it out to the public.